Uh, we've seen young people lose their way. The 15-year-old was a shooter in Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, Lord. 12 and 15-year-olds. I mean, the, 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 the nation is hurting, saints of God. Help us, Lord. 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 God is using us to still be the light that will shine in dark places. Are you yes. Are you yes. Come on. Yes. The yes. responsibility of the light that you want to shine even in dark places. Even, yeah. even in places where there seems to be no hope. When you show up, hope should show up as well. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we're thankful to God for allowing us, even in the times of trouble, to know we can stand on his word. And it's coming from, actually, our Sunday school lesson verses from last week. And I was so impressed by uh, Gideon's call last week. I was so impressed by Deuteronomy chapter 32. Uh, the Lord just kept writing me about right. what he said uh, in those passages of scripture. And so uh, we're going to go there in just a moment, but I wanted to be clear about why I'm here. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm, I'm here because I'm assigned. For this moment, hallelujah. As a matter of fact, when I got the call, I said, Lord, what's the assignment for my oh, life? Like that's that, that, not yesterday's my life. I'm talking about today's yes, my life. Uh, yes. not, not the decade ago, my life, because we're talking about a new generation of things, right? A new generation of them who are seeking the Lord and seeking the Lord's faith for the sake of who you are serving today. Mm -hmm. Because you're not serving the same people you used to serve 10 years ago. Amen. This is this you, you, you're not you're not a man. God's not changing, but the people. Right? Oh so we, we need to be able to focus our attention to the fact of who God is sending us to serve. Hallelujah. And what we're gonna need to be able to accomplish that for his glory, because it's not for our own glory, it is indeed for his glory. So again, to the bottom of chapter 3, 32, if you have your Bible. 32. Chapter 32. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he's sweet. Hallelujah. I know. He's sweet. He's sweet. He is. He's sweet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's an Old Testament text. 32. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We bless your high name, God. All the earth. Chapter 32. Mm -hmm. Chapter 32. Bless your name, oh God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name, God. Thank bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll be reading beginning with verse 28 through 31. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Reading from the NIV. Thank you, God. God bless you. And it reads this way. They are a nation without sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no discernment in them. It's been a lot of them we've been talking about lately, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> yes. If, if, if only, if only, somebody say if. If. if whenever you say if. If only yeah. they were wise and would understand this and discern what their ends will be. How could one man chase a thousand? Huh. Or put two, or two rather put 10,000 to flight. <clears throat> Unless they're rock. Somebody say they're rock. They're, they're rock. rock. And held hold and sold them unless the Lord had given them up. 31 says, for their rock, say your rock, your rock. is not like our rock. Somebody say rock. 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 As even our enemies concede. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So I, I, I don't know if you all are a talk back church. I mean, I've been here several times, but I can't really discern whether or not y'all are or not. But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna do that today. We're going right. to investigate whether you're going to be a talk back church <laughs> today. And if, if it's not, I'm going to leave an impartation for Pastor Victoria. She can thank me later. Uh, that we're going to make sure that you understand that when you say the word, uh -huh. the uh -huh. power that comes out of your mouth, when you declare the word, uh -huh. is different than when the person who stands at the podium, the person right. who stands on the platform, the person who stands in the pulpit, is not the same effect. But when we all say the word, oh, yes, say that's where the power is. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. where the power is. That's where the power is. And so for just a few moments, I'm going to talk to you about standing on the rock. Standing okay. on the rock. Standing yeah. on the rock. Standing yeah. on the rock. Standing yeah. on the rock. Yeah. 
standing on the rock. The, 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 the matter at hand is that there is a community of them, not only today, but obviously in this text that shows us standing on the rock. God, thank you. Elder Lisa's going to preach today standing on the rock. Somebody tell somebody. Come on, somebody tell somebody. Elder Lisa. Elder Lisa. Preach today. Standing on the rock.
no discernment in them. I, 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 and for those of you with the Ephesians 3 20 ministries, know what I'm talking about. We were at a women's conference, and the, these scriptures keep talking about the days and the bims. Who are the bims? <laughs> Well, sometimes we're overwhelmed with all of them and what all of them are doing. But I came today to tell somebody, as long as we keep standing on the rock, we don't have to worry about the them. Yes, God. Yes, Charlie, God. Right. Because I just heard them. I just that we start trying to yes, blend God. with them. We try to start matching with them. We start forgetting yes. about how difficult it is to stand beside your, to stand, to stand alone, rather, and we try to stand beside them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want them to feel alone. We don't want them to feel uh -uh. left out. So we don't stand with them, even when we know that they were without sense. Right. Mm. Without sense. Right. Right. And with no discernment. Mm. Mm. They don't even know the wickedness that they have put in their own house. They don't even know the wickedness that they have embraced upon their own family. They don't even know the generational curses that they've accepted for their own line of love. Oh. And we're going to stand with them? Not me. Anybody, not me. Not me. I'm gonna stand on the rock. Uh, the rock, by the way, in this particular text, about the rock. Is it? I uh, didn't close your Bible, did you? No. Uh, the rock is in verse number thirty-one. But their rock is not like our rock. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the evidence right there. What they stand on can't be like what you stand on. Amen. Therefore, the other is the, the, the same truth that you can't stand on like they stand. So whatever they're believing in, right. whatever they're leaning on, whoever they're depending on, that's let them do that. Mm -hmm. But your impression, your witness, the evidence of your life could potentially be the change that they need to know that when you stand on this rock. It's a capital R. Did you know this? I know this. Did you know this? Yes. So when you're in scripture, you can't read over it. That's it. You got to be meditating on this. Why yes. is it that the, for their rock is a lowercase r, and for right. our rock, not like our rock, is an uppercase no. r? It's because we're talking about two totally different things. Yes. 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 That's right. That's right. Make it plain now. This lowercase r must not Make be a plain. That's yes. right. That's right. This lowercase r must be foolish and, and, right. and wayward Woo. and inconsistent and unstable. Yes. Yes. And yes. 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 Yes.
Uh, we go to the beach, and the beach, I pick up rocks. And I try to remember where I got it from. And this one I don't remember. But I do know it's from that one trip. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this rock, uh, then I put it in my, uh, uh, they call it a fairy garden. I have my rocks, and I have my beach chair, because I love to think about where I'm going to next. Ooh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, I, I, put it, I put it in my visual about where I want to go to next. So since I love the beach, and I love being by the rock at the beach, and I have my beach chair on the beach that I have in my beach chair, and I have my at the beach, I'm I'm at the beach yeah. because that's what I love to do. So I put my rock in by the beach because I realize that the rock represents the hard and heavy things. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That I have faith that I deserve that vacation. Yeah. Right. Every vacation the Lord has blessed me when I said, Lord, thank you that I deserve that time. <laughs> <laughs> but the rock is hard. And it's heavy. As a matter of fact, so if you think about who we're talking about here, God, God. and you wonder about why I would bring out this rock and talk about being hard and heavy, is because every now and again, it seems like it's hard to serve the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to serve the Lord with gladness yeah. when you are doing everything you know how to do and people don't appreciate your kindness. Yeah. Uh, I told y'all the other day, I just said to ungrateful folk, you are, you are doing everything you can to make sure they have clothes on their back, shoes on their feet, food on the table, and they still are ungrateful. It gets hard being a child of yeah. 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 It gets hard to love people who don't yeah. love people. It gets hard to forgive folks who be over and over and over again. Keep doing intentionally things that you hurt you. It's hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. But we got to stand on this rock. That's right. We got to stand on our faith and belief. We got to stand on what the promises are. And for what I'm trying to tell us today, that when you're standing on the rock, uh -huh. that it's not like what they are standing on. Uh, that's right. So eventually, what they are standing on will waste away. Amen. Uh, what I, uh, so what I found out about God in, in, in this particular context is that you can see God being hard in the fact that even serving uh, for God can be hard in traffic. It can be. But you can also find that this rock is a place of fortress. Yes. Yeah. You know the fortress is a place where you can go where you can be hidden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. When, when the enemy's on attack, they would build fortresses so they yeah. had a place to hide and so they could get rest while they were being under attack. Mm -hmm. Huh? A fortress of God is a fortress. It says in Exodus chapter 17, you might not be able to get all these verses. It's okay, I'll send them to you later. 17 and 6 says, I will stand there before you by the rock. By the rock. Of Horeb. And when you strike the rock, and the water will come out of it for the people to drink. So not only is this place a fortress, it's a place that he will provide and hide, but he's going to do something supernatural yeah. in the place. Yeah. Okay. Right. God. <laughs> God is going to do a supernatural miracle yes. when God hides you from the enemy's attack. Yes. You need to tell me when the enemy attacks your body, God's going to hide you so that the pain will no longer be so insurmountable and you will not forget to stand on the rock. You mean that when you go That's through the it. issue with your parents, that the Lord you serve will go hide you and guard your heart and you will become part of heart. You will become forgiving and God will protect you and supernaturally provide for you. Yeah. All right. Yes, God. Thank you. Yes. This rock. Thank you. God. You standing on. Yeah. This rock of your faith. This rock that generations upon generations have stood up and say, I believe who God is. Yeah. And I believe what God can do. He says, I'll hide them. And I'll cover them. That's one way of thinking of the rock. Another way of thinking of the rock is that uh, there's a, the way that the eagles of soar in Proverbs 30 and 19, mm -hmm. and it's the way of a snake on a rock. What I, love, I, I, what I love is that the Lord will allow you, as I said earlier in verse number uh, 28, where there was no discernment amongst them. They didn't discern, but God will send you into an area that you'll be able to see the snake. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. I thought y'all would be a little happier. Than that. <laughs> 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 oh, maybe none of you work that hard. Maybe y'all all have volunteer people. Okay, God bless you. I take care of my own lawn. And, and so when I was uh, taking care of the lawn over the summer, uh, there was a snake in the grass. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then the snake in the grass could have, I, I mean, my Lord, it was a large area. It could have been anywhere. I would have. Not necessarily known it, but when you heard the Holy Ghost, I was like, "Yes, yes, yes." The Holy Ghost said, "Yes, the Holy Ghost said, 'Yes, yes, yes.'" Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes,
He says, I'll allow you to see. Right. Thank the you, enemy God. Yes, God. Who's Thank trying God. to come against you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. I told you at 29. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If they yes. were wise and if they would understand. So I'm encouraging us today, when you stand on this front, you may not always understand what God is doing and or what God is saying. All God is asking us to do is to be obedient to what yeah, God is saying. Yeah. Be obedient to what yeah. God is saying. Yeah. You may not always have the answer. Why would God have to tell you the answer? Mm -hmm. Who were you? Where were you when he created the heavens and earth? Yeah. Where were you when he put the stars and the moon in the sky? Yeah. Where were we? We were not we saw. We were only a star. That's right. Mm -hmm. He says, but if you allow me to show you, if you stand on this rock, I make not only I make you only to have the fortress and the protection and the provision. I'll make it so that you can discern the enemy before the enemy gets to you. You start to feel weak in your body before you even have to go to the doctor. The Lord will take you. Well, to yeah, yeah, yeah. You see trouble rising amongst your children, don't you? Wait till the trouble actually comes to fruition. You'll be able to be in the sermon mode and stand on the rock. And watch God tell you what's going on with the yeah. 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 He's a Lord fortress. Is. Yeah. He's a fortress. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. He's a provider. Yes, God. Right. Thank you, God. And he will supernaturally give you discernment. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that supernatural provision, let me take, let me go back to Exodus 17 and 6. That, that's the story where Moses was told by God not uh, not, not to hit the rock. He mm -hmm. told him to speak to it. To speak right, to right. The rock. Uh, this is that particular verse because before he's had an experience that when he uh, when he when he hit it before he, he was able to get the water out of it. And I, and I don't know about you, but I tried to hit this rock. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I tried to hit this rock, yeah. and ain't no water coming out of this rock. Yeah. I put water on it. This is my perspiration, but I, there's nothing coming out of it because God is showing us, say to God, that when you're in the full will of the Lord, that there might be something. Things I'll let you do, and there might be something that somebody else will need to do. All right. All right. That's right. Why is that significant? Why is that important? It's because you all have a role to play. Right. And then I can't play your role, and you can't play mine. That's right. it. That's but right. you ever say, oh, you can not say that right? But some of us ain't even got in the car to get in the car. No. 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 We are willing to cover up your life. Yeah. 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 We, uh, yeah. we need a vacation. Yeah. 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 To speak to the Lord, yeah, right. All right. for provision, and that's their role. Yeah. That's that's their role. Correct. And God is going to use them when they come up and come forth. But until then, we are we are really literally trying to share the mm -hmm. space because we want to make sure nothing is missed. Yeah. But God is saying, stand on the rock. Yeah. Stand right. on the rock. Stand on the rock and do what God has called yes. for you to stand on the rock and be who called you to be because in the nation of them who may not listen to me, they may be intimidated by me, they may not be want to be in my company, but they want to be in your company. There's a nation without sense who needs your sense. There's a nation without discernment that needs your discernment. Uh -huh. There's a nation without hope that needs your hope today. Somebody say glory. 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 Yes. Glory. Sir, a nation without sense. Mm -hmm. Only if only they were wise and would understand this and discern what their end will be. How could one man chase a thousand or two put ten thousand to flight? Mm -hmm. So, there's a, there's a foundational uh, any contractors in the home, anybody who does any building, any. Any DIY contractors? You wish you were a contractor. You tried some stuff in these rooms. You come visit my face, but it did not work. It did not work. But if you know anything about foundation, if you know anything about why this mess is standing on the rock, if you know anything about uh, even the, the, the Gideon example that I gave you uh, about who this is talking about, who this is talking to, and how we can find ourselves sometimes feeling inadequate 
it insignificant, but he's saying that if you're not uh, thinking about doing it by yourself, think about doing it together. Mm -hmm. Think about how more you can get done together. Yeah. Think about more trail ways you can make together. Think about more how you can go higher together. Think about how you can go further together. Think about how you can make a difference better together. Yeah, yeah. together. My DIY right. project did not work because I didn't have nobody working with me. <laughs> it was me. I was the one. I was the one yeah. who had the vision. I was just the one oh, who, uh, who was trying to chase the old carpet out and the old pallet out and the old uh, hay and stick. I was trying to, it was just me trying to chase all of that out my <laughs> And then I found I had a foundation for it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Y'all know about that. Y'all know about foundation problems. When your foundation is slanted or cracked or compromised, it's so right. I came today to tell us some, some of us our very foundation is not able, able to stand on the solid rock because our foundation is compromised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a crack in our foundation. Mm -hmm. That was Lord. We got some leaks in this old building. Yeah. We, we got some issues that we're not going to face. Right. We've, got, we've got some trials and some tribulations that we are holding on in a state of fear. Yeah. We've got some people in our lives that we have not resolved the issue with, and so we just ignore them instead of resolving it and acting for forgetting. We've got, we got some issues in our lives. Yeah. And it's right. Yeah. It's no longer yeah. a solid foundation. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. It's a little compromise. Yeah. Yeah. But the power of the rock is better when we are standing in the power that God has given us as an example. This example of this silent rock, this hard and heavy, this fortress, is not just because of God. God, I made you in my image. Yeah. Yes. And in my likeness. Yes. Thank you, so when you go to the nation, you're not going to the nation as your broken self. You're going to the nation as this solid rock. Mm -hmm. You're going to the nation as this... Uh, answer to their question. You're going to the nation based on who you know God to be. Your wisdom is going to show up in the nation. Mm -hmm. Your solid faith is going to show up in the nation. Your commitment, your discernment is going to show up in the nation. Well, what's the contrary to that? Well, there's some sand here. Uh -oh. <laughs> and I brought a lot of it. Yeah. Because yeah. okay, there's something about a rock versus the sand. Well, yeah. Huh? Yes. Uh, yes. This, this, this rock has, as I said, weight. It's hard. It's heavy. Yeah. It's consistent. It's not going anywhere. I can throw it. I can try to scratch it. It might show some wear and tear, but it will not break. It's solid. Right. It's good stuff. Right. Right. It's not going to move. It's not going to break. It's not going to be. It's going to be a place. If I need to hide something, I can hide something right there. This rock. Mm -hmm. But I like this thing. <laughs> this thing, it, it requires. Uh, one, it requires a whole lot of it. And if I were to separate it from the others, yeah, yeah. it's weak, it's fragile. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Not only if I separate it from the others, you can't even find it. Mm -hmm. It begins to disintegrate in my fingers. Mm -hmm. right. Say to God, when we when we go without the will of God, when we go without the ways of God, when we go without the promises of God, when we go without the power of God, when we go without the wisdom of God, when we go without the guidance of God, when yeah. we go without the knowledge yeah. of God, when we go without the discernment yeah. of God, we are a tragic path to stand. And in order for us to make an impact in the nation, in order for us to make an impact on your street, in order for us to make an impact in your workplace, in order for us to make an impact even in this community, yeah. we need to be because yes. when the enemy comes, he's coming to devour the people. He comes to do what? Steal, kill, kill and destroy. But Jesus has come that we would have life. life. Right. And have faith the Bible so, and have it more abundantly. But in order for us to be able to work this work and to fight this fight and to do what the Lord says, because the enemy, he says, oh, even if your enemies can see. Mm. In order for the enemy to conceive, the enemy knows who has the power and who does not. That's it. And I believe the enemy is looking right now at the church and wondering, they just okay. afraid to say it right now. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. So they're not standing on the promise. They're not standing on the wisdom. They're not standing on the knowledge. They're standing on their own wherewithal. But God oh, said, right. there is nothing you can do without the power of God. Yes. Yes. Oh, There's no way you can do it against the enemy yes. unless you be on the rock of the yes. solid foundation. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. The way the eagles 
in the sky. He said, the snake on the rock, you'll be able to discern the snake. And when you discern the snake, you just have to look at it and say, oh, I'm pretty. Yeah. <laughs> will, will you? No. Most, okay, I, I imagine there might be someone who has a snake as a pet. I have. <laughs> yeah. But let that snake get loose. Everybody in the house is looking for the snake. Yeah. Ain't nobody happy when the snake is loose in the house. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. And in order for us to be able to conquer the enemy that's trying to kill our children, trying to rob our, our, our victory, trying to come against our hope and our promise, trying to get into our bodies and make us sick and not be well, to make us fragile and not be whole, to make us weary and not be strong, to make us weak and not be able to fight. The enemy needs us to come together That's and stand it. on the solid rock. Yes. Let the foundation of the rock move you to the next level. Let the foundation of the rock move you to the next work. Let the perfect work it says in Deuteronomy 32 and 4. He is the rock and his works are perfect. And all his ways are just. And so for us to be able to not just be uh, the, 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 the sand in the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Inconsistent. Us. One working without the other. One trying to build without the other. One trying to go without the other. One, and I know it seems like it's going in the same direction, but that would be the, the work of the enemy to make us think that when we look like we're doing well, we're not really doing well. Mm -hmm. Man. You come in on all kinds of services. You open up all kinds. But your are yeah. not in it. You are not doing yeah. well. Yeah. You on time. You before time. You are not in your mind somewhere else. You are not doing well. Yeah. We are allowing the devil to run rush out over our lives. And if that's the case, we are not doing well. Yeah. If your family ain't all saved yet, you, we are not doing well. Yeah. Until we can say that all of the demons, all of the enemies, all of the vices against God. Or moving out because we can't do that. Yeah. Because we're standing on the rock. Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. I wish I wish I could I wish I, I wish I could just sit with you and, and show you how this word is saying to well. us saints that we have sat back far too long. Mm -hmm. That we need to remember to stand on. The rock. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the rock, the one who gives the us the peace. Mm -hmm. The one, the rock, who gives us the praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. In our mouths. The one, the rock, who when we were stumbling and falling, who picked us up. The one, the rock. Thank you, the God. one who saw we had a future hope. The rock. Thank I wish God. I could sit with you and tell you how God wants to remind you today. That the rock that you're standing on is not a fable. Uh, it's not. A, it's not a trick. It's not a. It's not a story. It's the real deal. It's, it's the. Real it's the everyday, consistent, faithful word of God. God is going to be the same yeah. yesterday, today, yeah. and forevermore. Yeah. His love and you are not changing. His yeah. commitment to you is not changing. Thank His faithfulness to you is not changing. His hope yeah. for you is not changing. Yeah. His pride for you is not changing. Yeah. His plans for you are not changing. Yeah. His love for you is not changing. Yeah. His commitment yeah. for you is not changing. protect you when you are in trouble, the rock that will hold you yeah. when you are lonely, the rock that will comfort you when you have been left alone, the rock that will provide for you when there was no water to be found. I'm talking about that rock. Oh, God. Yes, God. When we praise God. God, we should praise God yes, for the power yeah. and the strength yeah. of that rock. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Because if God Lord is showing God. us that strength and that power, mm -hmm. it's because God wants to impart that strength and power mm -hmm. into us. Mm -hmm. Will you stand on your feet if you're able, please? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Because their rock Amen. is not like our rock. Mm -hmm. Amen. When we send you back out into the world today, you're going to face some people who don't know the power of the rock. Well, mm -hmm. when, we, when we go back to our homes today, 
Well, you're going back possibly to someone who doesn't even know why you wasted your time going to church. Wait, 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 wait. Their rock is different than our rock, that even when the enemy that's using and or enticing them confronts you, you will not respond in your own way. No, no, no. God is showing us that we're going to stand on the rock because even the enemies will concede when you show up. Yes. Jesus mm -hmm. Lord, was taken to a tomb when he died mm -hmm. for our sins. <coughs> oh, let me say it a different way. They hung up on him. <coughs> He, had, he hung up there on this cross, right, right. exposed to the earth, mm -hmm. fragile in all of his so-called ways. By outer appearance, he was nothing but a common criminal. Mm -hmm. But he did that because he loves you. Say, oh, God. Thank you, love Thank you. God. Oh, God, yeah. you love me. And, and in between two feet, those who were the lost and the weary. And he said, remember me. He said, I remember you. Yes, thank God. In paradise, he, they died. He died. Yes. He died. He died. Yes. He died. He died. He died. He died. But he didn't yes. die. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. They killed him. He died because he gave his life. Yes. He gave his life. Yes. So that we could live yes. and stand on the rock. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. I put him in a tomb. Yes. Yes. And behind a rock, yes. Yes. they yes. thought they held him. Mm. Mm. Right. They thought they had yes. him. Yeah. They thought they had him yes. to die. Yes. Yes. But somebody say in three days. Three days. Three days. He rose again. consistency of who you are is not based on your parents. Thank it's you, not Lord. based on your health. Thank you, Lord. It's not based on your economics. Thank you. It's not based on how you look. Thank you. Your consistent faithfulness to the rock uh -huh. will send enemies to flight. Yes. We'll make the devil bow down. We'll make the enemy leave your household. Yes. We'll make the devil have to run Thank off you. and go somewhere else. When you stand on the rock, yes. stand God on promises the rock. he will hide you if you stand on the rock. Thank you, Lord. God promises he will provide for you. I'm just reciting what we said. God promised he would provide for you if you stand on the rock. Yes, he did. And God promised that you will supernaturally send the demon, the demons from hell to flight <laughs> if you stand on the rock. Stand yeah. on the rock. Yeah. But you can't stand on the rock yes, yes, yes. and be wavering like this saying. Amen. Going yeah. between two and four. And sleeping out, excuse me, my library, but sleeping out. Because part of the problem is that when we're not consistent and held together yeah. on the rock, we're bound to go anywhere. Yeah. We're bound to do anything. Yeah. We're bound to act in any way. Yeah. And you're standing on the rock. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go to work standing on the rock. Yeah. Go to school standing on the rock. Yes, yes. Go to the grocery store today standing on the rock. Everything. Go back home standing on the rock. Yes. Go to the car wash standing on the rock. Blessed be mm -hmm. the rock right. of our salvation. Thank you. Oh, salvation is the reason you can stand yeah. on the rock. Yeah. Your love for God is the reason you can stand yes, on the rock. Yes, yes. And this rock is not going anywhere. Right. Make sure you don't go anywhere. Glory. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. yes Lord. Lord. Y'all may be seated in the prayer. Amen. 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 We're going to have a closing prayer. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I mean, you have to make a decision, right? Yeah. 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 You have to choose. Right. Uh, can I also say to you that this saying is messy? Well, <laughs> everywhere. I, I, I have it in the garage, mothers. But for some reason, either my bag must have a hole in it because it's saying everything. <laughs> and God is giving us an opportunity to not have messy lives in here. They don't want you messy. Inconsistent. God wants us faithful. Yeah. Standing. 
on the rock. Yes. 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 Glory to God, we give that praise. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I believe that there's someone today that you have um, assumed that you are on the rock. But the enemy seems to be winning in your life. Every time you turn around, it's one thing after another thing. And, and, and not that the enemy is not on his assignment because that's the job to interrupt the plans of God. My concern is that how you respond to the attack. My, 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 my prayer that I would like to pray when we were talking about standing on the rock is that when we realize, <clears throat> pardon me, when we realize who we are standing on and who we're standing in, that your peace has got to come back. Your joy has got to come back. You might be in a fight, but you don't have to look beat up. <laughs> And my concern is that the body of Christ is looking like we got black eyes, mm -hmm. bloody noses, mm -hmm. bent over, not looking like the victory that which we are entitled to look. But God says if you have true wisdom, seeking the will of God, you have true discernment, seeking seek the plans of God. If you stand on this rock, that little rock, that little R case, lower case R, will not come over you, not overwhelm you. And if, in fact, you need to get another rock to stand with you, mm -hmm. make sure you don't get a, a bag of sand. Well, <laughs> make sure you get somebody. You, you hear how it's still, it's still coming out. It's still it's messy. Yes. Don't get nobody messy to stand with you. Amen. Mama, Amen. Mama. Amen. In your situation or your troubles. Well. Yeah. And God is saying that it's, it's the way they're responding to the trouble, God. But I want them to know that they need to stand fully on the rock. You may not understand why God would permit it. Did Job understand? No, he didn't understand. But the issue was that God was saying, saying to him that I have put more in Job than Job realized. Yeah. And I'm telling you today that God has put more in you than you even realize. But if you keep standing on the rock, even when you don't understand, stand on the rock when it doesn't feel good. Stand on the rock when you are feeling overwhelmed. Stand on the rock when you're grieving. Stand on the rock when you're happy. Stand on the rock when you're prosperous. Stand on the rock when you're low. Somebody would need to remember to stand on the rock. Use your wisdom and your discernment and use your force. Because it said that either your enemies will conceive when you stand on the rock. Mm -hmm. So God, I pray now in the name of yes, Jesus, yes, yes. as your people, God, have presented yes, yes, yes. themselves to you today in this worship experience, I pray, Lord, that like never before, you will encourage their hearts, their minds, their spirits to be able to stand on your righteousness, your goodness. Stand even when others are falling away on the wayside. Stand when others are talking about them in their face. Stand when everybody else is mocking them because just like Jesus, who was rejected, he was the greatest cornerstone of faith in the world. Help us to stand when others are leaving you. Help us to stand when others are mocking your ways and your will. Help us to stand when they say you were dead. But we know you to be alive and well. Yes, Help us to stay. Help us, Lord. Strengthen us to stay. Give us discernment and wisdom and guidance to stand yes. on the rock. Yes. Blessed be the rock yes. of our salvation. Yes. Let your power fall. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When your name is strong. Prove the doubt of strong, yes. that you are still mighty and strong. Fight this battle, please, and help my enemy so I can tell all my friends that you have won. Again, let your power fall when your name is called. Prove the doubt is wrong. Anybody believe that today? Yeah. That you're still mighty. He's that rock. You're still mighty. He's that rock. You're still mighty. And strong. Fight this battle for me. And help my unbelief hey. so I can tell all my friends that 
you have won. church um, because they need the Lord mm -hmm. um, but they come to church because they need a place to feel safe mm -hmm. the place where nobody's perfect right. uh, right. but we're all striving for the perfection right. through Jesus Christ I, 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 every day I'm trying to be more like right. him mm -hmm. every day Less of me, more of. Is that anybody's testimony to that? You're, right. you're, you're, you're not what you used to be. In That's life. right. Uh, but yeah. and every day you're striving to be better. And so this invitation yeah. might not only be for those who have not yet invited the Lord Jesus into their heart. Right. And become a saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled person. But this might be an invitation for someone who stopped standing on the rock. Mm -hmm. uh, who, has, who may have lost the direction and lost their. Uh, awareness of the safety of being in the presence and the power and the authority of God. This might be an invitation right. for someone who thought they had gone too far and that God couldn't love them anymore. This, this invitation might be for somebody who just needs to come back to the place where they can safely stand yeah. on the rock and they realize that their falling was not a permanency and the falling was temporary. But now when you make a decision to come back to the rock. Amen. All right. Yes, and the place where your healing can happen is when you confess. Confessing is good for the soul. Mm -hmm. It's when we hold that issue and we don't allow God to hear the brokenness because we are broken, y'all. And we need to be put together. Put back together. The power wants to put you back together again. So yes. if that's anyone today, that, that's another invitation that extends beyond. It's a re- Reigniting the fire back in you and your relationship with the Lord. Yeah. Is that anybody today? You can come back. Isn't that yeah. good to know? Yeah. Yeah. Did anybody have to come back? Yeah. I'm the only one in the world who had to come back to Jesus. Oh, oh. <laughs> I had to come back yeah. on many occasions. Amen. And maybe that's somebody today who has not fully committed to coming back. You kind of like that saying. 
But you'd rather be like that rock. Yeah. And you can come back. If that's you today, we, we invite you. This is a family here. My Ivory loves all here. And we will love you. Amen. And I say we because we're all family. Uh -huh. This is having to be 4111 with them. Yeah. Right. It's a location, but it's not a body. Right. Yeah. We're the body that operates everywhere. You're the body in Schnucks. That's right. Yes, Lord. If that's you today, you want to come back. Because God is one for you. He won. Yes. The body is fixed. We're doing for the church. We we'll remain open until Jesus Christ returns. Amen. 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 Were there any more announcements that need to be made? Um, there was one about the pizza. Okay, we have, we have Sister Carter said that she, everybody that ordered stuff from her, she was she was going to bring it today, but she couldn't make it today. But she was over here. It's back. Your stuff is back. She had it. She'll give it to you. Oh, praise God. Did everybody hear that? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. 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 We didn't announce the trunk or treat that is going to be on October the 31st from 5 to 8. Um, just it's a, with the youth ministry, it's the Hallelujah night. So please come out and worship with us while we celebrate the harvest of Halloween or Hallelujah night. That's it. That's Amen. Amen. <clears throat> We're good. I just enjoyed the service today. Sunday school at Lisa King, as always. I love standing with my sister. Amen. Minister buys me a hand today for being a little bit. That's right. It's not easy being up here looking at y'all. Okay. <laughs> um, we're just thankful again um, to be able to be back with you. We pray that this message will resonate with you the rest of this week. Yeah. And you'll keep standing on the rock. Yeah. You'll, you'll use the fortress when you need to hide. You'll use the strength of the sun when you need to look at that state. And you'll know that if you stand on the rock, that enemy's going to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should be able to tell somebody that this week. Amen. Right. I'm going to charge you. You're going to have to tell somebody that this week. Amen. 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 Standing on the rock. Standing on the rock. And how to stay. Huh? How to stay. How to stay in the fortress. Yeah. For the sermon. Yeah. And the enemy's going to flee from you. Yeah. When you stand on the rock. Yeah. Not that saying now. Not that saying. May we all stand. Hallelujah. Again, God blessings. Uh, God's best blessings. Rather to my dear friends. The Turners. Hallelujah. We thank God. For the interim pastor, Pastor Victoria Turner, will you give her a hand? Yeah. Yeah.